Okay, in this video I'm going to address the issue of a temporary password when you're trying to open a Theta wallet. So stay tuned. Okay, first you'll only encounter this request for a temporary session password if you are trying to open the wallet using either a mnemonic for the wallet or the private key for the wallet. So if you're opening it using a key store, you won't see this, so don't worry about it. As an added layer of security, the Theta wallet will always ask you to enter the password that was used to unlock the wallet whenever you try to send something from the wallet. That's a good thing. Okay, when you are attempting to open your Theta wallet using either a private key or the mnemonics, it is going to ask you for a temporary session password. And what it's talking about there is it, it wants a password and you just make one up and that password will be good for the current session only. In other words, the session is defined as from the time you unlock the wallet till the time you close the wallet. If you go to open the wallet again at a later point, you're going to make up another session password. Could be the same one you used before if you want to. Doesn't really matter. It's just used within that session of the wallet. And what you say, well, what is it going to be used for in that session? It's going to be used when you go to try and send something out of that wallet. You're going to have to enter that same session password that you use to unlock the wallet for that session to confirm the send. That had me confused at first when I tried to open one like that and I said, well, I don't know what the temporary password is. Well, nobody told me what it is. Well, it's not something that you're expected to know. It's something you make up for that session only. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and share it with others that may have the same problem. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.